Hello lovely people, welcome to Brown Strings. My name is Henriette and today we're learning Swing Along from the Tetra Tunes book. Will you join me playing this with long bows? Now I want you to hold your left hand right here so you hold your violin by the, by the edge right here and now I want you just to think about how you learned to play your bow hold. So I want you to think about your thumb being bent underneath I want you to think about that your middle finger is precisely opposite your thumb and also that your little finger is on the side edge there. So you've got a little space here and a little space there between your fingers and all your fingers are over the bow apart from your little finger which is on the side edge. Are we ready to play swing along? We're going to go really slowly and use a long bow on every note. So set your bow ready on the D string and here we go. And start to a new book here. Excellent. What are we working on in this piece? First of all I want you to spot the pattern and the pattern as you can see in this piece is fairly straightforward. The beginning of line one and the beginning of line two are exactly the same and at the second half of each line the notes have just been swapped over. Uh, the first line is D D A A and the second line is A A D D. And why do I want you to learn the pattern? Because then you can play this piece off by heart. And if you can play it off by heart, you can look here, uh, because that is the most important thing in violin playing, is where the bow is on the strings. So as soon as you know this piece off by heart, go and start to look here, and you'll find out a lot about your violin playing. Where should we be? We should be with the bow about in the middle, between the bridge of this thing, and the fingerboard which is this black thing here so about in the middle okay and once you start it a piece you're not going to try and lift the bow off the string your bow keeps resting on the strings from the beginning of this tune right until the end okay let's try that shall we let's make sure that we're not lifting the bow off are you ready here we go and <laughs> well done. Now when we first start learning to play the violin it's quite difficult to play these strings individually without touching any other strings that you don't mean to play. Now the strings are quite close together so when you're looking here when you play so when you don't need to look at your music you get to see it very clearly which string you're on but there is also an exercise that we can do to help you learn to feel as well where each of the string is. And for this exercise, I want you to put your bow down in the middle on the D string, which is the second string from the left. And now I'd like you to think about your right elbow. And I want you to lift your elbow up like that. And you can tell me perhaps where your bow is going. It's going to the G string. Now drop that elbow a little bit. There is your D string. Now drop it even further. There is your A string and drop it even further, there is your E string. So I want you to do this seesaw exercise with me. 
because that is going to teach us where exactly these different elbow levels are. And when you've done that many, many times, your arm will learn to feel where, which string you're playing on, you see. So let's go to the E string, so your elbow's in its lowest position. Now can you go to the G string? So your elbow goes up. Now can you go to the E string again? There we are, your elbow's in its lowest position. Now this time, can you go to the D string? So I'm going up with my elbow, but not all the way. Let's go to the E string now, down all the way. Let's go to the A string now, a tiny bit up. And now can we go to the G string, up, and so on. You can ask a family member to shout out the strings for you and you go up and down with your elbow until you learn to feel it. Now this last time we're going to play um, swing along once again and now I want you to really think about your elbow. Remember when you lift your elbow up or put your elbow down your shoulder doesn't come with you. Your elbow can work separately from your shoulder so be careful not to lift up your shoulder by accident. Right, let's get ready at the level for the D string and we're going to the heel of the bow. Are we ready to play swing along? Ready? And... possibly can and I also want you to be able to play with your eyes closed so that you learn to feel where those elbow levels are now that is no mean feat so give it a go every day and try your hardest to find those elbow levels for me you have worked incredibly hard today so good luck with your practice and I look forward to seeing you again soon bye bye <laughs>